Since prehistoric times, people have used wood to warm themselves and to cook their food. Today, scientists and engineers around the world are trying to find efficient ways to convert the energy in cellulosic materials into a useful form to replace petroleum for fueling the world's growing fleet of cars and trucks. This all might sound kind of complicated, but it's actually pretty simple. Let me break it down for you. Our story begins with the sun, an enormous ball of fire, a nuclear furnace radiating into space an inconceivably large amount of energy in the form of photons or light packets. A tiny fraction of these photons collide with Earth, and of these, a lucky few are caught by chlorophyll molecules within the leaves of plants. To engineer the next generation of biofuels, we need to understand the structure of plant cell walls as well as the biochemical and physical processes that plants use to manufacture this energy-rich and useful material. The energy captured by chlorophyll is transferred to CO2, which is then assembled to form rings. These rings are the building blocks for energy-rich molecules such as sugar, starch, and cellulose. Plants use cellulose to build cell walls, the major structural material that makes up plant bodies. To make cellulose, the rings are linked together into long chains which form sheets and then assemble into microscopic fibrils. The Center for Lignocellulose Structure and Formation is focused on these issues to help meet the world's future needs for energy and materials. CLSF is striving to make the world a better place by refining a new, greener method for sustainable energy and biofuels. Let's get into this discussion of sunlight and transfer of energy. Photosynthesis. Let's get into this process of chemical yeah. reactions. Plants take water, sun, and CO2 to make glucose, the sugar that they use for food. They also put oxygen into the air so we can share because oxygen is everywhere. The energy transforms from solar to chemical all the time, everywhere. The process is identical in every.